What's good, y'all? Chef J here with three videos that I'm going to be posting today. One, I'm going to be showing y'all how to I make my barbecue cube steaks. Baked barbecue cube steaks. The second video, I'm showing you how to make southern style fried corn. And the third video is going to be I'll show you guys how I make my good old mashed potatoes. Mm. So y'all stick around for three videos coming your way. Here, let's go. Okay, fam, I am back. I decided to do some fried corn. So I'm going to add some um, little small pieces of red bell pepper. And some onion. Okay. That's all I'm going to add. Don't forget, when you cutting your bell pepper, make sure you take the label off. Some people will be forgetting. I'll be watching you them do that. They lead a, they won't even take the label off. Yeah, make sure y'all take the label off. They'll sneak up on you, but make sure you take the paper off. Yeah, I'm gonna do some fried corn. Ain't nothing like some good fried corn, man. So I'll be right back. Let me dice this stuff up. I ain't gonna hold you. Let me be right back. Okay, fam, I'm back. All right, got my pan here, and I'm gonna um turn it low. Okay, let me get some oil. Add some oil to this pan so that could be getting nice and hot. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. Don't go ahead and ride away frying chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you all the grease get nice and hot before you put that corn in. And what you do is you drain your corn. Drain all the water and juice off your corn out your can, right? Make sure it's all drained out. Okay? Alright, about to come in with the onions and the red bell pepper that I chopped up. Hey, y'all comment below, let me know when the last time y'all ate fried corn. And how did how did jobs come out? Did it come out good? Let me know. And just letting that soften up a little bit before I add the corn. Just add the corn. I just set the hell with it. This is all gonna cook the same. All right, get your season of your choice. Complete season. Black pepper. Some of that Tony's Creole season. Some more uh, paprika. A little bit of garlic powder. This bad boy smells good already. I'm blending it all together.
That meat is smelling good in the oven. The cube steaks. Alright, so now I'm about to get my bacon bits. Now, this is real bacon, fam. 100% real bacon. I don't buy that other, that, that make believe bacon bits. We buy the real deal. So get your bacon bits and sprinkle it right on in there. Okay? Mix it and combine that with it too. Yeah man, if you want, you can cook your own bacon. But well, we get ours crumbled up already. Because it's the real bacon. It's not that old generic bacon bits. We use the real deal. This dog my house smelling good, man. So dog on hot in this kitchen. Man, it's burning up, man. I got the oven on. Now I got the stove on. So it's hot. Had to get me some water. See, you'll know when it's done because they'll start like sticking and stuff to the pan. That means all the water that's in the corn gonna gonna absorb a little bit. Yeah, that's exactly what that means. But yeah, fam, this is how you make fried corn. This looks so, so good. I know this seemed like one big whole video, but I'm going to break this video, this whole video down. I'm going to show y'all how to make the mashed potatoes in one video, and I'm going to show y'all how to make the corn, the fried corn in one another video, then a barbecue some cube steaks is going in another video. So I'm giving y'all three videos today. Three videos. So y'all stay tuned for them. Because I know y'all going to want to watch them. The mashed potatoes are done. I'm just waiting on the cube steak to cook a little more. And that's it. Alright fam, this corn is finished. Moving on to the next video.